Good morning. So it's a new half term and a new value. And this half term, our value is fairness. And this week's focus is I treat people fairly. So sometimes people can be treated equally, but not necessarily fairly. It's not quite the same. Treating people equally means that you're doing the same thing for each person. So in the picture, even though each person is a different height, they've still got the same size step to stand on to reach the apple. And it, does, it means that not everybody can manage to reach the apple. Whereas if you treat people fairly, it means that you're doing the right thing for that person. So obviously the tall person doesn't need anything to stand on because he can reach the apple anyway. Whereas the child needs a taller step, to, a bigger step to stand on so that he can reach the apple. So treating people fairly doesn't always mean treating people exactly the same. So thinking about treating people fairly, we need to think about what is equality. And equality is understanding that everyone is different, but that we are all people, knowing that everybody has the right to be treated fairly, and it includes treating others with respect. So let's think about what makes us different. Everybody is different, but what makes us different? There's lots of things. It could be different hair colours, different eye colour, different skin colour. We all live in different places or different types of homes. We have different abilities. Some people are able to do something that somebody else isn't able to do. And we have different likes and dislikes. That's just a few examples. You probably can think of other things that make us different. So even though we are all different, in lots of ways, we're the same. So let's think about what makes us the same. Well, a bit like these jelly babies, they're all different colours, but they're all made of the same stuff. And we're all made of the same stuff. We're all essentially made up of skin and bone and blood. And we're made of cells. So we're, even though we might look different, we're all made of the same stuff. And we all have needs. We might have some different needs, but we've also got some needs that are the same. So we all need water, food, shelter and clothing to keep us warm. And we've got other needs. We all have different needs as well, but we all have needs. And we all have feelings. And again, sometimes we feel different things, but we all feel something. We all have feelings. And we all have likes and dislikes. And again, the likes and dislikes might not be the same, but we all have them. And we all have thoughts. And we're all people. And Dr. Zeus, the author of The Cat in the Hat and The Lorax, said, a person is a person, no matter how small. So what do you think that means? It means it doesn't matter how different we are, we're all people. We all deserve to be treated with respect and we all deserve to be treated fairly. It doesn't matter what the differences are. So let's have a think about some scenarios. Is this fair? What if your teacher shared some sweets with the class and gave two to each boy, but said that the girls could only have one? Is that right? Is that fair? What do you think the teacher could do to treat the children more fairly? Well, I think it would be fair to give everybody the same number of sweets if they liked them. What about this one? What if your class is skipping in PE and your teacher says that only children with brown hair are allowed to have a turn? Is that right? Is that fair? What could the teacher do to treat the children more fairly? Let everybody have a turn. Everybody's allowed to have a go. 
What about this one? What if you fall and hurt your knee and then the teacher gives everyone in the class a plaster for their knee so that it's fair? Is that right? Is that fair? Well, it's not really fair because not everybody in the class needs a plaster. Only the person that's hurt their knee needs a plaster. So it doesn't make it fair to give everybody one. So as we said before, equality doesn't always mean that everybody has to be treated the same. So remember, equality is when we make sure that everyone is treated fairly, but it doesn't mean that everybody has to be treated the same. And you'll see that in this short story called The Two Monkeys and the Fish. There once lived two monkeys and a fish. The first monkey followed the golden rule, always trying to treat others as he wanted to be treated. But he sometimes applied the golden rule foolishly. One day, a big flood came. As the threatening waters rose, the foolish monkey climbed a tree to safety. Then he looked down and saw a fish struggling in the water. He thought, I would want to be lifted from the water. So he reached down and grabbed the fish from the water, lifting him to safety on a high branch. But of course, that didn't work and the fish died. Fish can't survive out of water, can they? They can't breathe. Well, the second monkey who lived on the same island was a wise golden rule monkey and she knew that fish die when taken from the water. So when the flood came, she considered taking a fish from the water, but then she imagined herself in his situation. And she asked, if I were in the same situation as the fish, would I like to be taken from the water? And she realised, no, this would kill me. So she left the fish in the water. So treating people fairly means doing the right, thi the right thing for them. And it doesn't all always mean treating people exactly the same. So this week, try and think, what do people need and how can you treat people fairly?